No growl. It's Basil Chapman here. This is the Tom O'Brien Show. Tommy's out, and I'm subbing. So um, the guest host, and as such, we'll go through all the numbers. We'll look at them very closely. I am the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour, 10 o'clock to 11 Eastern Time every market day. And my service here in the newsletter business is the opening call, daily newsletter. And what we're going to look at right now is what happened to that early spike, I'll show it to you right here, in the futures, the Dow futures, just doodling around in the, about the 4270 level at six o'clock, and then suddenly I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, let's see, that is um, a nice turnaround, and then it gets higher and higher and higher, and it goes from 4270s up to the high of the day, 433550, and it's some, some, something about Putin, and I'm thinking to myself, why would the market rally when 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 it's something to do with Putin? I mean, would you trust anything that he said? Anyway, so as it stands right now, um, we're down at the lows of the day at forty two twenty eight from forty three thirty five to forty two twenty eight. I would say that's about a hundred points. Yeah. So, okay, let's get to the nitty gritties. We want to look at the market, what's going on. A lot of people asked if I, if I get a chance, uh, could I continue what I had done earlier today, looking at uh, different areas of the market. But I also want to add a bunch of stocks. So let's just go right through it. We've got the down at, down at 87 at 33,086. 33, There's a pattern in the Chapman Wade methodology that I, I look at all the time. It's a straight line up or down, but within that context, you can also get a cup formation and an arch formation. And what happens when it goes straight down, it mixes one and three. I make that red because as it turns down, if it fails after just one peak, like a peak A or a peak B in the Chapman Week methodology, and it starts to roll over, it can quickly take out the left side low, and that becomes the pattern that I call the dreaded H because you can see right here on the left, there's the daily chart. Look, from that peak D, oh, let me just do this really quickly. Uh, if I can get this to, um, there we go. So click, one more, I just got that. So what we're looking for in the Chapman Way, for those of you new to my work, I tried to identify the lowest low bar. I, I counter alphabetize, essentially grading each successively higher peak. Each one gets a new alphabetic letter uh, sequentially, A, P, B, P, C, P, D. It can even go to E, F, and G. There's never an H at D. You have to consider whether or not there's an alternative count. Other things can happen at your fourth highest peak. This is as simple as it gets. All right, here we go. Move this aside. We made a peak D in the daily chart in the Dow, January the 5th at 35,000, oops, at 36,952. It pulled back to 35,600, 13 points down, 1,300 points, and then it rallies sharply and it starts to fail and it rolls over, takes out the left side low, dreaded H, and it goes plunging down. It gets to 33,150 on the 24th of January, rallies sharply, only goes to a peak C, fails because at 25,824, it turns down. It breaks the 200 period moving average support, this little yellowish line and goes all the way down to 32,272. Now, I talked about this uh, for some time on my show. I said the pattern from the low that was made on the 24th of January said that there should be a rally. You've got just a, a number of bars after the initial spike to that A in which to break to the upside. And normally you get a buy mode going to a D if the, if the stochastic can start to hold above 80%. It didn't, it went over 80% and immediately fell. And we've got exactly the same situation here. Nice bounce off that low of the 20, 24th of February. It goes to peak A, and then four days it takes it, and the fourth day it tries to rally. You remember, it tried to rally, and then it just couldn't do it. At 34,179, it failed. It makes the arch formation. But wait a minute. It had a successful test because it was above 32,578 on uh, Tuesday. was, in fact, higher than that um, lower the 24th of February. So that said, there's a possibility that now you can go from an H pattern, a lowercase h, to a lowercase m. And it was really important that in this process, there was some follow through 
after the big move up on Wednesday, Thursday was kind of pathetic, and today it tried to rally. So this is actually, this is, I'll be polite, this is pathetic action after everything we've seen. And if by Monday or Tuesday there isn't a push into the 33,500, 600 area, this is not good news at all. Then the weekly chart made the H pattern failed, and it is now trying desperately to hold that 32,272 level. Monthly chart, um, it hasn't even gone. So the daily is in a sell mode. The, the weekly is in a sell mode. The monthly chart hasn't even started a sell signal. So that's still in a buy mode. Okay. I just wanted to get that out of the way. Now we'll do the others much quicker. S&P, daily, weekly, monthly. S&P right now is down 32 at 42.7. It had an arch formation that failed, going to the 24th of February, 41.14.65. Rallied quite nicely, but really not enough, to the 44.16 level. There's a pattern that I call the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. It didn't even get there. It even failed to hold above the two orange 200 period moving average in the daily chart. And then what happened is it pulled back, <clears throat> held to a higher a low than the 24th of Feb. And here was the opportunity. Today was the opportunity to rally much sharper. It hasn't done that. Sell mode daily, sell mode weekly. Not yet a sell signal in the monthly. I had spent quite a bit of time this morning uh, talking about the pattern that I call the Chapman Wave um, Roman candle, this particular candle right here. I'm not going to do that right now, other than to say if there is a close on a monthly basis below 41.14.65, this, this harkens, this, this suggests that we're going to have a longer consolidation and probably a deeper one. So it's really important by Friday week, for exactly this time next week, that the Dow, rather than being <clears throat> uh, much lower and the S&P being below 4,100, is actually up in the 4,330 area or higher. So we got the QQQ, same thing turned around, the daily chart, uh, not a good pattern, sell mode, weekly chart a sell mode, and the monthly chart is really close to a sell signal. IWM, sell mode, sell mode, and the monthly chart actually is closer to a sell signal. So, so far, it's not looking that great. I'll be back with a lot to discuss. Basil Chap, opening it for Tom O'Brien. I'll be back in a moment.